Do you ever find yourself longing for the good old days? Before TikTok and Instagram thoughts took over the internet, before TikTok and Instagram were even a fever dream in the minds of their creators, back when you asked Jeeves instead of Googling or talked to your friends over IRC instead of on Snapchat, back when we had real games like DX Ball, Snood, and Street Fighter 2 instead of garbage like Fortnite. The comfy days of the 90s are long gone, by more than two decades now, but you can still get that cozy Windows 95 aesthetic on modern hardware in GNU slash Linux. It's all made possible with Grass Monk's Chicago 95 theme. This beauty that you see here can be installed on any Linux distro that is running XFCE as the desktop environment because this is essentially just a theme and an icon pack for XFCE4. So let me go ahead and walk you guys through the steps to install this theme so that you can max out that boomer stat. So there's actually a couple of different options for installation. You could run the installer.py script that comes with this icon pack but I'm going to walk you guys through the manual installation because for one, it makes for a more interesting video and this installer might not necessarily work for everybody. So it's good to have the manual steps. Also, if you want to install any other themes, the steps are going to be similar. So it's good to really know how to do these things the manual way. So the first thing, of course, is to download the GitHub repo. So just go ahead and clone that into your system. I'll leave a link down below as always for it. And if you haven't ever installed any other themes on your system, you're likely going to have to create a themes folder and an icons folder. These folders should be hidden folders that are placed inside of your home directory. So you want to go ahead and mkdir.themes and then also mkdir.icons. Now, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and copy the Chicago 95 theme folder from that repo that you just downloaded into the themes folder that you just created. Don't copy the whole repository in there, otherwise things are going to start getting messed up. So this is the command you'll want. CPR Chicago 95 theme Chicago 95, and then into this themes folder. And once you've done that, go ahead and do the same thing with your icons folder. So you'll want to use this command here, CPR Chicago 95, icons and then everything within that folder into the this hidden icons folder and again i'll go ahead and leave these commands in the description so that you guys can just easily copy and paste them now that we've installed chicago 95 it's time to start enabling it there's a few steps that you'll have to go through depending on how much of a boomer you want to be and you might also need to log out and then log back in for the theme to properly take effect. So to start, open up your XFCE settings manager, and then you want to click into appearance, and you want to go ahead and select Chicago 95 as the theme like I have here. And then under the icons tab, you want to again, select Chicago 95. And also if you want to change the font to more of a boomer oriented one, like sans bold, you can go ahead and do that as well. Then go back to all settings and you want to search for the window manager option, or you can just go ahead and click it. And then you want to change your theme here also to Chicago 95. And if you want to also change the title font, you can go ahead and do that to Sans Bold. Then we want to click back into all settings. And we want to look for notifications. 
And so here, go ahead and change the theme again to Chicago 95. And then finally, there's going to be our panel because as you probably noticed when you first install this, um, this start menu icon here isn't going to be set this way. It's either going to be uh, the Linux Mint logo if you're using Linux Mint XFCE uh, or the probably the Ubuntu logo if you're on X Ubuntu. I'm not sure if they created their own custom one there uh, or if they just go ahead and use the default XFCE. But anyway, uh, in order to change that, we're going to need to change the icon setting for the whisker task menu. So go ahead and search for panel again within your XFCE settings. And then we want to go to items and then select the whisker menu. Go ahead and click into that. And then here you'll have the option to change the icon. So click on this. Now, chances are your interface after you clicked on it doesn't look like this. It probably looks uh, something like this, either uh, file type icons, or I think it might be um, all icons, something like that. You wanna go ahead and change it to image files so that you can then go ahead and specify the path for where you want to uh, use this icon from. So we want to go into home, and then it's gonna be in dot icons, Chicago 95. Actually, that's my mistake. You want to be in the um, in the themes directory. So themes, Chicago 95, and then misc. And then this is the one that I used in here, legacy GTK. And then just this start menus option here. So that gives you kind of the more bold looking one here. There's other ones in here that you could use, um, but in my experience, these ones are really a lot smaller. They're not quite as blown up like I would want them to be. And obviously we want those things to be a little bit blown up because you know, boomers, they tend to have bad eyesight. So you want to have things blown up just a little bit for that true boomer experience. So once you're done with all this, you can go ahead and crack open a ginger beer, maybe talk to your mates on IRC, and enjoy the boomer immersion. I guess there's still a couple other things you could do to really max out that boomer stat. You could replace your 16 by nine or your uh, widescreen monitors with some beautiful four by three CRT monitors. You could replace your black optical sensor gaming mouse that has all these extra buttons and a DPI switch with an off-white trackball mouse that doesn't even have a scroll button. It just has the left click and the right click. And replace your fiber internet connection and ONT with a 56K modem and a dial-up line. But I don't think I'll really be doing all of that because while I do like the Boomer aesthetic, Zoomer hardware is far superior. So that's it for this one, guys. Make sure to share the video with all the boomers and zoomers that are in your life. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and tick the notification bell so that you know when new content is being released. See you later.